What you think about it? It's a good experience. It ain't an easy job, but it's a good experience. So we up here and my grandma Alabama dropping this load off. Uh, got my brother. He kind of in training. He thinking about uh, getting into a box truck business. So I let him hit this dock. I'm going to see if he realize he cricket. But he got all the room in the, in the world to make it happen. So I'm going to tell him. Hey, come over some and ride this line right here. Yeah, go over just a little bit. He on, he on the phone. Oh, yeah. Right back. Well, I'm finna open. I'm gonna let him see all that. So I'm gonna... Might gotta come over a tad bit. Might be good. Pull that up. Then you need to walk on it. Once that thing come all the way up, you walk on it. <laughs> nah, go ahead. <laughs> Where y'all gotta take it to? Uh, they got to put them on the floor. Put them together and put them on the floor. Fuck, I'm saying y'all doing it. When y'all offload, where you gonna put it at? I'm saying they gonna put it in the hallway. I'm saying you get that padded jack and put on that, put some of the padded jack, put it on, I'll make it easy for you. Yeah, they gonna, they gonna figure out where they go. They just told them to put it in the hallway. Okay. Y'all, you don't mind being on camera, dude. I, I, I just want to check. I want to check. I got to check. He's a star. Oh, well, let me go. We in Montgomery, Alabama. This load came out of Indiana. And we uh, up here getting unloaded. Just decided to just do this video right here just to show the unload. Uh, I think I got, how many pallets on there? Well, how many boxes? 20, about 28 boxes. They got to do it manually. Now this is a driver, no touch. Uh, they, they got a good crew out here to be able to uh, take it off. You know, a lot of times it's say a driver, no touch, but you end up having to unload it as y'all know. But this one right here, I could just sit back and you know, let them on um, pull it off and it's not no rush because this is one i'm actually home so this was like the second load that i actually found that uh, delivering in the city that i live in so now they're playing a waiting game got a good work crew out here and uh i want to uh grab some some pallets some empty pallets i got a spot to go to the grab some empty pallets i got a spot that i can sell these pallets at for Six or seven dollars a pallet, so I'm gonna try to grab them. I'm gonna try to grab some more uh, inventory for the liquidation business. Then shut down, take my 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 week off. But I don't have my tripod. I'll never, I'll never have my tripod no more. So I, I won't be able to sit y'all up. But I'm gonna cut y'all back on in a minute once these boys get to going. So I just got through training my brother in this in this 26 foot box truck. He thought he he thought he knew how to drive these things, which he ain't do bad. But he had to get he had a good experience in it for him to realize that it's not like no 26 foot you are. You gotta do a little more focus on it. 
I told him to let him hit this spot, that, um, bagging in that um that hole by himself. I'ma see, I'ma see the, how much room he got. Keep it turned. Keep it turned. Ah, uh, that was that was a good turn. Now I wasn't gonna tell him that car back there. That was his responsibility to, to check and see. That's why I told him to make sure he go up far enough where he could be able to see what what he got left on his blind side. So like I said uh, in my last video, we gonna we gonna go ahead and keep it rolling for at least another six months. We're gonna run on a friend authority and just go ahead and shut down Holloway trucking. So I'ma go ahead and drive OTR for six more months. And then from there we'll uh you know, see what route I'm gonna take. Uh I'm gonna as I'm gonna keep driving for a company, I'm gonna get my own truck or or, or what. But like I said, we just got back from we did a load early this morning and I just went ahead and you know decided to go ahead and give them some training uh before we switch authorities. And like I said, he did good. Uh I didn't my phone died on me early, so I, I didn't get none of the stuff that i wanted to record early we it was a, a process man because while we were getting unloaded it was a 53 foot semi <laughs> trying to get in that spot he put into a spot where he had no room to, to turn out of so we had to help guide him out of there and that was a good experience for my brother because he can see the stuff that occur uh while you you know over the road or, or local whatever the, so you were to me, you will want to have an understanding how it is for a semi truck. That way, it give you a better feel driving a box truck because it's not the it's not a semi truck, but it's still almost the same. You get into the same situation sometimes. So, I never been to the place before, but I already knew that instead of pulling in, I went ahead and backed in. So I had swung out right wide when I was coming, and I backed in. But he did good, and like I said. I just wanted to just throw a training day in because, like I say, during my my off week, we gonna go ahead and get some things trans transitioned over before we could keep us rolling. But I let you want some stuff. You want to speak some some stuff. What you thought about? Uh, what would you say about your first experience? You know, uh, training and everything, and, and what would you suggest? Or what would your be advice be to anybody else getting into the trucking business as an owner or a driver? What you think about it? My first day of training, it went pretty, it went pretty smooth. Like I said, one thing that I can say, you gotta be patient when you, when you, when you delivering, because anything can happen. Like my brother said, that 53 foot semi they tried to come in, he pulled in the wrong way, so we had to stop traffic. And he was, but if, if he would, if we wasn't there to help him, it would have been a real, real bad for him. Yep. So just. Just do some research before you get ready to drop your load. See, look at, like, you got Google Maps. Google Maps can pinpoint certain places and they can show it in uh, digital. So before you take a load, just pre-trip pre it. Just, yep. look at, yep. just look at what you got to, what you dealing with. But other than that, it's pretty smooth. It really is. Like, trucking run through our, our family blood, so... And we just took so long. We were we were supposed to be in the truck when we first turned 21, but like I said, we just I guess you could say we dropped the ball. We we didn't really take it serious. And for some reason, I just I I did not want my CDL. I can drive a semi truck. I just don't want to. I, I, it's too much headache. On my, I think it is. You know, it's just too much hassle. First time driving a truck that size, and you see how I did it. Like I said, I, I listened to what he told me to do. Just and I just did it. I mean, he did good, y'all. Like I said, honest truth, not, not, I'm not vouching because he's my brother. He, if he did something dumb, I'm definitely going to tell him. <laughs> he can't nothing get dumber than this right here. You see, this, this was that spot where I uh, got damaged and uh, it been, it been repaired. And like I said, yeah, guys, I did it. Stuff happened. But no, not making no excuses, not not 
you know, I, that's why I haven't really talked about that story because it happened in a way was I was under pressure and you know, things happened. You know, the, the road condition was, you know, it was a tough road condition, fog, rain, you know, at nighttime kind of road. So, but it's still, it, it's still, it's still, we still on the same path, guys. It's three trucks running on a hauling weight. Uh, like they said, we'll be going on another authority soon. But as of right now, we only going to have two trucks on the road. One going to be just uh, here sitting at the terminal. We only going to probably throw through two of them under the insurance. Pick that up for me, that bottle. And uh, like I said, this right here, uh, of course, is Ed truck who y'all got a chance to uh, see uh, on my last video. And he made it back in and He's still getting a, a feel of things. Like I said, he's doing good. It just, I, I got to give him a little more training on his e-log. Like I say, uh, he got to get a little more training on that. And that's really important because, like I said, I didn't really get a, a good trip to, uh, for about, to train my brother on e-log. So, I, okay, so let me tell y'all this too. If you training, as in, if you getting trained or you are on operator setting up a, a training guide for your drivers i would suggest if you able to do it to do at least a month a month worth of training let them go out with uh rent teams or, or go out with another driver but the minimum i feel the minimum should be at least a week a week within a week excuse me within a week you will be able to have full training on everything like i said you'll be able to understand the the laws you be understand your BOL paperwork or how you how you receive your confirmation rate to, for a load, uh, any kind of road conditions, with everything you could think of. You get you run you a good week of training. Uh, that that that's that's that should be a real good amount of time for somebody to get trained. Like I said, uh, uh, they'll be able to watch the trainer uh, drive, and then they'll be able to drive in the trainer, be able to you know observe them. So you can get a lot done within a week. Of training but I would suggest to at least do a month but if you don't have a month available minimal I feel like a week of training is, is, is minimal what you should do if you if you pushing for time you want to go ahead and get your drivers out there but I don't suggest you you rush into it because you know it's not it's not a hard job but you still have to have some awareness and you want to make sure your safety is the number one priority so just make sure you you have a good training guide. Like I say, I just I, I had dropped the load this morning here local, and I just thought I said okay, it'd be a good time for him to ride along and and see uh, the process of me dropping the load. And, and the unload took a little while because they had to unload by hand. It was some some uh, what it was some chairs, some recliner going to the hospital. So that's that's it, you guys. Like I say, y'all, I know y'all always hear me say that this was an unplanned video, but it really was and. When I thought to record this morning, my phone actually died. I didn't have no charger and my phone was dead all day because I didn't feel like keep going about charge. I do it every, almost every other day. I lose, I either go out on me or I leave it in another vehicle or something. But this just an update, guys. As y'all, as y'all heard, like I say, I, I tell y'all things as it comes. So as of right now, like I say, it, we, we are official. Today make it official the last day of the Harlem Way operating, but we will keep the trucks rolling uh, under another authority. And like I say, you, you, some of you all may come out here and do just just do do great. Like I say, don't have no kind of problems. And some might you know come out here and run into a little problem. And some y'all might run into a lot of problems. Like I say, we 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 had more our main problems for this business was maintenance and drivers. Like you say, maintenance was the number one killer. And once we finally started, you know, get rolling good, we got more trucks, couldn't, couldn't keep a driver. Couldn't, couldn't keep a driver. So to the ones who were concerned, that is the, that was the cause of us not to to to, to see how we wanted to. But like I said, it's still not the end. Like I said, we, uh, as you can see, we, we have, we have a truck. The trucks is not a problem. Just have to have uh, good running trucks and have to have a good, running drivers if that make any sense to you all so
Got to have some dedicated drivers, like I say. Well, hopefully y'all see me out there, guys. Yeah, hopefully we can get, you know, get them out here, like I say. I'm just, I'm just trying to utilize my time wisely, like I say. I don't have much time uh, at home, so when I do come home, I want to make sure that if, I, if somebody got to get trained, we get them trained and... You know, try to at least get them get them going. Cause by the time I get out there, we we end up finding a driver. Um, they don't be trained, and, and and we have to try to set up a training guide for them. And a lot of them don't 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 really make it. So we kind of like we go through a lot of pro trouble training them, and you know they they don't they don't last long. But I appreciate y'all for watching. I didn't talk y'all to death enough already. Y'all just continue to follow the channel. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. If you are looking to get into the trucking business, stay encouraged. If you're in the trucking business already, same to you. Stay encouraged. Stay safe out there. I love y'all. Y'all stay safe. Be blessed.